So yeah, that was Cyrus's chapter. I forget what level is my Tressa even. I forget. Like, is it viable to have her in my party? What with how strong my other party members are, anyway. And just do her chapter right away. Is that? She's level sixteen. Like seven? What? I don't understand. Stream delay, what was this to? Her level? Yeah, I... Yeah, I trust this chapter two is here with the recommended level 22. Should be fine. Thought Tressa was level seven. Nah, she's been leveled up a little bit. We're doing that. Okay, then. You get the snipe saver. In that a case. Ah, so that's what it does. So I could increase Therion's attack like that, but I wouldn't have the massive evasion boost, and I like the massive evasion boost. Oh, let's just do the top thing of everything that's in here, basically. Um... Sure, speed's really good. Is Tressa a merchant thief? Yes. Yes, indeed. Um... Oh yeah, I was saving up for Elfric's auspices, and I can almost get it. Almost. Not quite yet, but almost. May you ask why? Because the two synergize really well together. What with you? Right, I have business here. Let's go heal first and stuff. The two synergize really well together, being able to regain your health and SP with the thief skills. And then using the merchant abilities and such. Plus, it's funny. But yeah, from what I've heard, it's apparently actually a really good combination, though. This away. And let us move on to Tressa's story then. I mean, she's pretty underleveled, but uh, my team's 33, 33, and 32 for a recommended level of 22 missions, so I think I'll be okay. After all, Tressa isn't like Ulbrick where she has to one-on-one -on -one people. Following in the footsteps of the nameless author, you find yourself in a quarry crest very different from the one he described. Your search for business begins here. Let us continue the tale. <laughs> the doors open in the bar because I walked in there before. The story so far, spurred on by a curious notebook she acquired, Cressa set forth on a journey. Now she follows in the footsteps of the anonymous author, in hopes of seeing the world and all the treasures it holds. Now, where did I leave off? Every journey is a vast sea of opportunities, but none are quite so precious as our encounters with others. Sharing a connection with someone new, or however brief a time, is unforgettable. For it is a chance to learn about others and yourself. I'll rest here tonight in Quarry Crest. Rumor has it there's gold in these hills, and many a prospector has set their eye on it. I wonder what encounters might await me here. Mm. This must be Quarry Crest. With a door to the bar wide open. Could there really be gold here? Eureka!
gold! I've struck gold! I've been opening chests all over this area with fool's gold, so what do you bet it's just that? Now this is something to write home about. What do you bet it's fool's gold? Oh, huh? well, there's one. There's more, and I'll find them all. Not if I find them first. No way! Yes, there really is gold in these Thar Hills. <laughs> Something tells me that this may be a good place to set up shop. Stay your hands! It's Mr. Morlock! Good to see you! Good to see you all toiling so earnestly. Who is this Mr. Morlock? <laughs> Look, sir, real gold. How much do you reckon it's worth? Mm. Let me see that beautiful nugget. Hmm. I'd be happy to take it off your hands for a reasonable sum. I'll say it once more, so listen well. As mine and all the land surrounding it is the sole property of the esteemed Mr. Morlock. As such, any and all gold discovered here is his by right. But unfortunately for you, Mr. Mor er, but fortunately for you, Mr. Morlock is a generous man. He'll buy the gold off anyone who finds it. So keep digging, and you may find yourself with riches beyond measure. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> the best search engine ever, Kappa! See. Looks like this Morlock fellow has an iron grip on this mine. I guess that means I won't be dealing in gold here. But still, my merchant senses tell me this town presents a lucrative business opportunity. So am I going over here then? Ah, oh. look around. Oh, oh, by the way, is there better staff maybe? Flail. Ooh. Occasionally decreases the target's elemental attack. This could be good on Therion for the physical attack boost. Uh. Yeah, I kind of. Therion, I guess, doesn't need that much elemental attack. Oh. Um. Gonna get one Staff of Wonders at least for Therion, just so he can hit with a bit more damage, I guess. See the Angus Glaive for a sec? Magus Glaive, I assume that's supposed to say? Physical attack plus 96, elemental attack plus 162. <laughs> That'd be so good on Cyrus. And it used like all my money. Hmm. Cyrus is already so broken. I'm gonna make him more broken. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna say Magus. Okay, so Cyrus is elemental attack. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty crazy right there. Plus 68. Plus 24. But yeah, there goes like ha over half my cash, making Cyrus even more borked. Hmm, I dig and dig and dig and still can't find any gold. Dash. Looks like bad luck. I thought this would be my chance to turn it all around. I'm such a fool. I even borrowed money to get this far. How can I ever face my wife again? What's that? Excuse me, sir. I'll buy these stones from you. You will? Interesting that they use elemental attack instead of magic attack for the terminology. I like the 
term of elemental attack. I think that's neat. I guess we're purchasing. Nondescript stone. You have use of my goods? Bless you. Always looking for a bargain. Yeah, I think that's neat. I can't sell these to you in good conscience, miss. They're just lousy rocks. <laughs> but I insist. I'm a merchant, and I feel like there's more to these than meets the eye. Why, thank in that you. case, they're all yours. Thank you kindly. Aww. The heck was that sound? Did someone just like step on a rubber duck? Wow! Aha, I knew it! <laughs> I'll be rich now! <laughs> Underneath that grimy exterior was a gorgeous gem just waiting to be discovered. Well, well. You've quite the eye, young lady. Huh? Pardon? <laughs> Name Sparrow. Oh. Hey, those are the same stones I bought. <laughs> right, you are. I'm a traveling merchant. Allie's the name. Tressa, I'm a traveling merchant too. I've never seen stones that glow quite like these. They look more just like ordinary rocks at first, but it'll take more than that to fool me. <laughs> you have no idea what you bought, do you? Uh, Should I? Indeed. These are sky stones. They're rare, but you can find them if you know where to look. At first, they're perfectly unremarkable rocks, but apply some quality elbow grease. And you have yourself a gorgeous gemstone. No way! I had no idea! It's not like I just did that! <laughs> and you still bought all those stones? Heck of a green pea you are. What? Green pea? See you around. Oh, keep up the good work. See you around, green pea. Green P. He's just a mean P. But I don't have time for that now. I have stones that need selling. Where are we going now? Ah. Step right Come up. one, come all. Be the first to get your hands on one of the rarest treasures in the realm. Gold? Nope, it's <laughs> better than gold. Now feast your eyes on this, the shimmering sky stone. Oh my! <laughs> oh my! Oh. Look how it sparkles! Oh. Let me see! <laughs> well, quite the beauty, isn't it? Why, I... I've never seen anything like it. It's absolutely <laughs> breathtaking. Yes. yes, but did you know? The Skystone's radiance is surpassed only by its rarity. So if you'd like one of your own, this might be your only chance. I see. I'll take one. I don't know why I did that voice for... Oh, me too. Pleasure doing business with you. Those stones practically sold themselves. Yeah. This place really is good for business. Time to stock up the shop. What, am I have to gonna go buy more of those stones off people? Hey! Hey, travel banter. And zing. Why, I'll be... A sky stone, eh? A significant discovery, to be sure. Do you know much about these sky stones, Professor Albright? Ugh. I thought I was gonna sneeze here, but I didn't. Yes, I do know a lot about them. I'm actually quite allergic to them. I almost sneezed just by coming that close to one. I dare say I've read a book or two about them. I can say they are a type of ore, but I failed to recognize the stone for what it was, even when put before me. But your eyes saw true. Perhaps it is your merchant's instinct at work. Maybe. 
Honestly, I wasn't certain those rocks were so valuable. But in trade, good opportunities don't come by every day. So you just have to roll the dice when you see one. Indubitably. I must confess, I was quite impressed at the way you managed to sell all those stones. Seeing the potential for trade in every part of life, you are a true merchant's merchant. It is a clever game you play, Tressa. I hope to see more of it. It's a deal, Professor. This way. I guess we're gonna go buy more stones. Of more miners. I assume that's what's happening here. Oh yeah, man. Let's go do it. Let's get your stones. <laughs> you want it? Take whatever you want. Oh, I can't steal. Imagine if I could just not buy things off him and just steal it. Uh, that's probably why they don't allow it. Oh, I got 1500 before and now I'm gonna spend it all. Want to buy these? Help yourself. Yeah, it's all going down the drain now. Are you the one buying up all the stones? Why do you want them? Because I'm always looking for a bargain. I should do it. Now, it's back to the square. Is no one gonna want them now after we sold the bunch before? Or the other guy's gonna have a bunch now? Well, you bet the other guy's gonna have a bunch and it's gonna be a competition with him and he's gonna be the boss of this chapter, I'm calling it now. I'll tell ya. Step right up. Be the first in line to see the rarest. Yeah, I knew it. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round and prepare yourselves for a breathtaking sight. This, my friends, is the one and only Spark. Shine Sky Stone. You can be the proud owner of these lovely gems for just a fraction of her prices. What? <laughs> what a dirty trick. Setting up shop right next to me. I won't go down without a fight. They certainly are beautiful. But what makes your stones different from hers? You won't find purer sky stones anywhere. Just look at them. You can see all the way through. Not a single blemish or impurity to be found. Dazzling, is it not, milady? Almost as dazzling as your eyes. Well, when you put it that way... Resorting to cheap flattery! Does he have no shame? Do you have a daughter, my good sir? That dolls of Boulderfall make, no? A precious gift for a precious little girl, no doubt. Indeed it is. Ah, clearly you're the type of father who wants only the best for his darling child. Do you truly believe that doll will suffice? The Sky Stone is as pure, innocent, and beautiful as a daughter's love. And every time she sees its radiant glow, she'll remember her dear father who gave it to her. Its light will connect her to you no matter how far you may travel. Dear father, where do you roam? Dear father, when will you come home? Surely you can see why this would be the best purchase you'll ever make. <laughs> Jeez, it's like this guy works for Vector Marketing or something. I can just see her smiling face now. What a pleasant young man. Yeah, I'll take one. You're most welcome, my good sir. Uh, what? Step right up. There's not a moment to spare if you want a rare sky stone to call your own. 
You won't find them anywhere else. I promise you won't be disappointed. I'll take one, please. One for me, too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Who is this, Adia? <laughs> the Murgers? I mean, this one's made by the same team. I <laughs> made Bird did you fall in second. The Murgurger. <laughs> Woo! Would you look at that? Business is booming. <laughs> well, maybe not for all of us. You win this round. There's no way I'd lose to a green pea like you. I'll admit, I've never seen anyone make a sale like that before. Practice makes perfect. If you want to survive in this world, you need to learn how to tug heartstrings and loosen purse strings. But being a merchant is about more than just making a sale. A good merchant should understand what their customer needs and sell them what's best. What I sell may not be what they need, but it is what they want. What's wrong with a little embellishment? Embellishment? A merchant's words are like a warrior's blade. Don't forget it, Green Pea. No Murgurger that time. Yeah, Dragon Quest 8 Syndrome's gonna happen. She sells so many they go down in price. That'd be interesting. But yeah, yes, Murgurger has returned to us in one form, it seems. Wait. Sure. Anyway, travel banter. This alley fellow seems rather good at this. Er, I can't believe he got away with that. I must confess, I've never met anyone so smooth of tongue. In a way, it's hard not to admire him. Ophelia, whose side are you on anyway? Why yours, of course. This isn't over. I swear I'll make more coin than him before we're through. Just so, I shall offer a blessing for your success. Do you think I need to practice my sales pitch? You mean to be more persuasive like Ali? No, not like him exactly. But if I did practice, maybe I'd be better at selling things. Or, well, I suppose it could have just been practice that makes him sound so clever. Exactly. So all I need to do is practice more. In fact, I'll start now. You pretend to be the customer, alright? Wait, what? I knew she'd say Murgurger at some point, but you completely forgot. No idea how happy you are that she Murgurgered. I wonder if it's a reference of Bravely Default in Second that they did that. So hungry. But after that miserable show, I need to save my money. Hello there. Your finest meatballs, sir. Mm. Well, if it isn't the green pea, you're looking famished. Here, I take you on a tight budget now. Keep it. I refuse to take pity food from a rival. Oh, all right. Suit yourself. Say. So, why'd you come up to, or why'd you take up this line of work anyway? You see. Both my parents are merchants, so I guess it just came naturally. And now I'm wandering the world and learning the trade as I go. Well, well. Don't say. My old man's a merchant, too. In the south, every one of their uncles heard of Maruf the merchant. He was such a smooth talker, he could sell sand in the desert. But he never once told a lie. Just a few words, my dad could get anyone to buy what he was selling and make them feel genuinely happy about their purchase. It was like magic. His words had an incredible power, 
One that could help people see the beauty in things they purchased. And then... And so, I decided to follow in my old man's footsteps. Really? Did you take up the family business? No. No, I ran away from home. What? Spare you the details. It's just how things played out. I see. It wasn't so different for me, you know. <laughs> Don't say. Now then. Well, I've got another busy day ahead of me. Better luck tomorrow, eh? Yeah. Seem to you. I made the best merchant win. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that was a reference. Murder is absolutely a deist thing. Hmm. Well, well, you seem to be doing well for yourself. That was a lot of wells. It's a really deep subject. Illegal though your business may be. Mm. Who are you? <clears throat> Watch your tone, boy. Mr. Morlock owns this establishment, as well as everything else in this town. <clears throat> um, that I most certainly do. Hey, That's no. great and all, but what do you mean, illegal? You might own all the gold, but these were just dusty old rocks until I polished them to a sheen. Uh -uh. Pompous attitude will get you in trouble someday, boy. As a landowner here, Mr. Morlock has right to oversee any and all business transactions he so desires. And as of now, that includes the trading of your little rocks. Huh. As of now. That seems awfully arbitrary if you ask me. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> uh, I don't know much about God of War, but I did watch a playthrough of the <laughs> newest one, so I get that. But that wouldn't happen, but that wouldn't be the first foul thing to happen here. Or weren't you aware, Mr. Morlock? You see, the price of gold actually. is actually ten times what you're giving to your miners. <sighs> Ali. Ali, maybe this isn't the time. Uh. It's exactly the time. They're deceiving honest, hard-working people just to line their pockets. Well, my honor as a merchant, I won't stand for it. Uh. Teach this little desert ant what happens to pests who try to stain my good name. Uh. Ready to be squished? Boy. I can't do it. I can't do it like that. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. I'm stronger than I look. I'm well versed in all the martial arts. Let's I do lead this. the one man army. They call me in the south. The mere mention of my name strikes fear into the hearts of any who would wrong the common man. I've killed more people than I can count, and all with one hand. Then you'll make a fine opponent. And how's it going? It's going pretty well today. Super red. How's it going for you? Uh... The one-man army? Huh, a merchant's weapon is his words. We don't stand a chance on the real battlefield. My fight was lost the instant we came to blows. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you've learned your lesson, Ant. Hmm? Looks like your wares aren't selling so well. Don't worry, I'll take them off your hands. Rude. These stones belong to me. Do you understand? You're so determined to have them, though. I'll let you be my little worker, Ant. I'll be in my manor. Come find me if you want a real job. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I say to people. <laughs> You're just trying to move across the crowd. Lots of peeps absent, huh? Yeah. Would seem like. Oh. Yeah, actual thievery. I can't believe that man. What dare he take advantage of people to line his own pockets? That's just dirty. Ali. I might not agree with everything he does, but I do agree with what he said to Morlock. Uh. Even if he could have been more diplomatic about it. I have to save him. 
I'm the hero the city needs. <laughs> More like said he be in his manor. It's time to pay him a visit. And another typo that happens a lot with you. Uh, I've... Oh no, I lost Sky Stones, but I got 500. Neat. But yeah, I knew what you meant there. I don't have any damage, do I? Okay. Travel banter. Hey. Are you going to help me? That's the plan. I thought he was your sworn enemy in the trading business. He was, and is, but only in business. He hasn't been good for my sales, but it's not like I hate him as a person, you know? Don't you think this is the perfect chance to get rid of a thorn in your side? Maybe that's how thieves work, but not honest traders. It gets on my nerves, for sure, but what's the point if I don't beat him fair and square? Suit yourself. I'll not be taking advice from thieves, thank you very much. She's got some steel in her bones, this one. Hmm? You say something? Nothing important. Pay no mind to this thief. Let's save! Oh yeah, man. <laughs> and Prince Ali Amrasi Ali Ababwa Hawa? Question mark? You have something better? I'll take improved offense. I'll take that. The road to Morlock's Mansi. I'ma go down to my manse real quick. Uh, this way then? You've never seen Aladdin? Not in at least... Like, 13, 14 years, probably. Probably like once. Way, way back when. So I do not recall. Also, um... Yeah. <laughs> the moment I take off the thing decreases encounters, okay. I get an encounter, of course. Like, why would anything else happen? <laughs> Analyze real quick. Nice. Here I go. So, uh, we're just gonna be donating BP with Tressa. For you. you know what we're doing? Wow. Now, what next? What next is this? So much to learn. Are we to bows as well? Julio. I'll do my best. So I don't have anything here that can exploit weaknesses, so... I don't know. This is the light. Do that, I suppose. <laughs> my turn. Uh... Dang it. Can do this, <laughs> though. Hmm. Give it a shot. Cool. Rude. Here I go. Um, let's just keep giving BP to Therion, I guess. For you. This is what we'll do here. My turn now. Mm -hmm. Let your wounds be healed. Just heal it real quick. Okay, let's do this again. Might take out the birds. Or not. Never mind. Wow. My turn. Let's do this. Let's do that. Nice. Followed by this. Julio. The flame guides us true. I'm gonna be able to get that sweet skill on Ophelia soon. Pretty soon. There's a chest over there. Uh, yoink. Ooh, that was worth it. Julio. Save successful. Dang it. Oh, oh no, egg things. 
I hate egg things. What to do? Hmm. Uh. For you. <laughs> For you. <laughs> if only one of them was weak to daggers or an element or something. But they're not. Uh, I'm ready. Are you? The <laughs> eggs from Pokemon Quartz are back. Jeez. They have returned. Oh, so they don't have that much health. Over here. Well, then. I'm kind of really strong. Well, I probably don't even need to break them, honestly. Yeah, they made a grand return. Wow, they're actually defending. That is new. In that case, we're gonna give BP to Cyrus, actually. That's what we're doing here. Just hit everyone. Give me that too much. A little bit. And they're here with the zoos from Final Fantasy. Interesting. Other things I don't know. Let's do Trade Tempest. Trade winds blow true. Trade winds blow true. I'll do my best. I'll just do it. May the sacred flame oh, yeah. shine forth. Just a tiny little tap to finish it off. Ooh. 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 What is this again? Ally speed, okay. For three turns, skills performed by a single chosen ally will trigger twice. That is so crazy. So I could put that on like Cyrus and have him do his crazy boosted magic twice in a row. This is going to be so completely borked. It won't be okay. Wait, is... No, never mind. What's in here? Hmm. Yeah, Game Breaker. Yeah, this is going to be pretty crazy, especially if I give him that boost to his elemental attack. He's just going to have no mercy on, like, anything that moves. Done my research on you. How in dooms? Here I go. Hmm. Uh. For you. For you. Out of my yeah, way. I'm kind of strong for this area. Uh. Let's analyze Captain Falcone over here. <laughs> Thanks, Therion. What is the logical course of action? Then we'll analyze you. Sweet. I'll not be defeated. Hmm. Skip to this, I guess. Hmm. Oh, jeez. My turn now. Could always do that. Night Ode, bring your shame. Another more weak and dark. Here I go. Let's do that. For you. For you. We'll learn one more weakness. Let's see. Lightning. Cool. My focus is unparalleled. So now. Destroy everything real quick. Don't mind me. Not bad. A passing. Can I learn another skill on Cyrus now? Okay, because the lightning and the color of the two dogs. You thought the dogs were like just head and two legs from the angle that it showed it. So I could get hired help right now. Pay money to summon hired help to the battlefield or. For three turns, spells cast by a single chosen ally that usually target all foes will instead be focused on a single foe at increased intensity. Oh. Oh! So I could cast that on myself. 
So I could do the double thing for massive damage, or even more damage on a single enemy. With boosted magic from Ophelia, and twice from Ophelia's other thing. Okay, that's gonna be literally insane damage. Okay, this is a save point, so I guess I should do this then. Uh, no. Yeah, busted. Yeah, I have to get that thing first. I mean, I'm still already pretty busted as is. I'll be especially busted then. There you go, it doesn't really need SP, that's just how he works. So then this way. Warlock's Mens. Oh. Ooh. Time to oh my. Teach you a lesson. Look at all those weaknesses, though. So many. Like Tress's Thief outfit. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Let's see. Pretty neat. Dang. Not weak to daggers. What to do? I don't know, let's just give this to Cyrus, I guess. I'll not be defeated. So yeah. So I can only do that at maximum boost. Okay, so you can probably only do all those special abilities at maximum boost. Okay, so it's not as borked as I thought it was, but it still is kinda of borked. Would seem. Let's just check this quick. Yeah. Okay. Here. My focus is unparalleled. Sure is. Learn all four weaknesses. All the basic weapons. Over here. Isn't that something? Hmm. So much to learn. Ooh, I can use wind on them then. My turn. Isn't that something? Let's see. Ooh. Oh, Let's do I just this. realized I said all the basic weapons to that first one, but it doesn't include daggers. But never mind, that's not all the basic weapons. I lied. For you. I'll do my best. Um, I kind of want to test this out. I want to give it a shot. Let's break this one real quick. I don't have that much health. I'll do my best. So yeah, the tigers are just baby swords. So now we're gonna do Elfric's auspices. So for three turns, skills performed by a single chosen ally will cheer twice. Will it actually be four? It will actually be four because of my thing. My passive skill that does that. Okay, you're ready for brokenness? And this is with Cyrus without even having his elemental attack boosted. Ideally against bosses, I would boost my elemental attack with Ophelia first, but... But this is what we're doing. I don't even get to see it do it twice. Thus ends your message. I just assumed that it would. In a tougher battle. I would assume. Look at that beautiful man right there. Okay, Doc. Ooh, purple chest. Dang it. Open for business. Open for business. What to do? Let's uh let Cyrus do his crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, I kinda want Cyrus to just sweep everything. <laughs> the logical course of action when he gets a chance 
Okay, ice. Over here. Well then. Then we're gonna boost his elemental attack. Four K. Let's do this. Hmm. Hmm. For you. For you. Ugh. My turn. Okay, we're he's gonna attack right there, so I'm actually gonna stop him. Free. My turn now. And then Hmm. There. Okay, that did it. My focus is unparalleled. And we're doing this. A great inferno to scorch the land. <sighs> that staff I got him really boosts Thus his attack. Ends your like wow. That's kind of crazy right there. Beastie Helm. Ooh. That really increases the speed, doesn't it? It brings out my maximum SP. There's the glaive that raised elemental, not the staff. Oh. Oh, I was thinking of Theory on the Staff of Wonders. I was getting mixed up. Um. I don't really need much more SP on Ophelia. She keeps getting it back all the time anyway. Give her the Horned Helm. And then give Theory on here. Golden hair piece. You can actually get the hasty helm. So yeah, now with Theron's maximum SP is up a little bit more. I didn't realize I had such an early game helmet on Theron's head. Still. This looks like it would lead somewhere, then it just doesn't. Dang it. These losers. <sighs> well, let's do this. Well then. And then we're gonna do that. Peacock struck. My turn. Followed by that. For you. You should have studied harder. Wow. Domination. <laughs> oh man. So this way. Casual walk. Okay, so let's heal quick. Like that. And then use some inspiriting plums. Kind of like that. And then save. Because this one should surely be the boss, right? Surely. Thought you were hiding there, did you? Omar. How fair are my coffers. Uh. Overflowing as always, sir. And I expect even greater profits with those stones. <laughs> As if I wasn't wealthy enough already to think those dirty rocks would prove more valuable than gold. Those rocks belong to us. Perhaps Omar rattled your brains a bit too hard. Let me remind you that this land, all of it, belongs to me. But even if little ants like you manage to dig up something beneath the surface, it's mine. 
Ah, you don't want to make an enemy out of me. I can crush bugs like you at the bottom of my shoe. Between the mines and the stones, my profits will continue to grow. It's only a matter of time before I'm the wealthiest man in the realm. <laughs> Hold it right there! Green pea? Come to inquire about a job, have you? Very well. I'd sooner eat those rocks than work for you! You're as much of a fool as the boy is, then. Boy. To think two self-styled merchants would be so averse to making money. You should know that I pay my loyal men quite well. Everyone has a price. I understood that more than ever. After I chased out that stubborn old landlord and took control of me. You... what? <laughs> There's nothing that money can't buy. So, what's your price, boy? On second thought, never mind. You're Maroof's well, aren't you? For all I know, you could be a fraud just like your old man. Uh, a fraud? Shut up! Didn't he tell you? His father's an infamous swindler in the South. He made a fortune scamming gullible sops with fanciful half-truths. <laughs> Until, that is, he got swindled himself by a trusted friend of all people. Saddled with debt, Poor Maroof ended up bankrupt. A sad tale, no? Uh, uh. Ali? There's no room for emotions in business. The poor, stupid fool. <laughs> See that one more time. What's that? Insult my father's name one more time and I'll... My father was a good, honest man. He sold his customers what they wanted. And his words made them happy. Your father was nothing but a lousy, lying dog. Those with money make the rules, boy. Second-rate peddlers like you and your old man should shut up and die like the paupers you are. You son of a... If you won't work for me, I'll just find another way to make money off of you. You won't sell for much, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> Mr. Morlock. Never in my life have I heard someone spout such cruel words. Your coffers may be overflowing, but you're still morally bankrupt. Oh, go on. You make a mockery out of others like you're getting paid for it. You cheat your workers out of their hard-earned money and monopolize their profits. If anyone's 
a swindler here? It's you! It seems you've forgotten your own manners. Omar, let's help the girl remember her place. It's time you learned that money is might! Ooh. Now, Ooh. Let's get no, down to that guy's big. <laughs> and yeah, if they are using swords, just like a lot of priests <laughs> RPG thieves typically use knives but not swords, but there are a few thieves that can use swords, so like the lock from Final Fantasy VI, if you remember right, but it's just uncommon enough that you are not used to seeing it. Yeah, I think they just wanted to give Thea a second weapon. More than daggers. And boy. Whoops. Okay, we're gonna be trying broken stuff this time. I'll do my best. As what's going on. Okay. What to do? We're doing that. For you. And then what next? Whoops. Why do I keep doing that? Just keep finding out their weaknesses. Rude. My turn. Now I can do that. Let's see. Lightning. Sweet. Let's do this. And then. For you. Hmm. Well then. Let's just heal quick. Jeez. Feel is so good. There's the improved offense. <laughs> Finally, enough here right to here. start for Deep Dungeon Final Just Fantasy Tactics is Squire slash Thief who do wield great swords. That one's pretty crazy right there. My focus is unparalleled. Certainly sounds interesting. Okay, cool. Big dude is weak to daggers, that's awesome. <laughs> Out of my way. What I will do here is this. Fuck this! Now we're gonna see if we can do broken stuff. Maybe. Jeez. Yeah, let's heal more. Bring about a miracle of healing. It's gonna take a little bit of setup here. Let's do this. But I might be able to figure this out. For you. I need to take a couple turns though. This is the logical course of action. So he mostly just screams like a madman and one shots anything stupid enough to get in his range. Oh, I already have the magical boost. So I just need Ophelia's thing then. <laughs> so now. Now we do this. Shut! So this is the last turn, I'll have a boost of offense from that villager there, so I don't have to do the offense boost with Ophelia. Because Cyrus is gonna do insane damage this turn. Alfric's auspices, let's give it to Cyrus here. Cyrus' abilities will be performed more than once. Okay. Let's see how borked this is now. Let's do this! Let's see how very borked. Could be. My focus is unparalleled. Let's see. A tempest of ice shall rain. Is it gonna do it twice? Oh yeah. A tempest of ice shall wow. rain. Wow. <laughs> oh, ice, here come through. Like. Oh, I Look at that! Through. For most of the game, you use a Lancer build because Lancer is super good until Great Swords or Knight Swords are introduced. So you just like doubled on those then. Okay, let's do this. I appreciate it. Really? I'll do my best. Okay, then we're gonna do this. Boost his attack. 
to do? Okay. For you. But yeah, that was absolutely insane. That damage I just did to this guy. Tightens his defenses. What to do? Hmm. For you. My turn. I can do this. You're too kind. What is the logical course of action? Then we'll do this twice. Times of once. There's twice. I'll do my best. And then break him. Now watch this. He's done for. Now the true lesson begins. Now the true lesson begins. And one for like 8,000 damage. Of and that was basically like 16,000 damage. I did one action with Cyrus at max boost. Wow. Wow, that's borked. It takes some setup. No, Omar. And after all I spent on you. <laughs> Give up more, Smurlock. You've lost. Look at that lamp at the top. Or that chandelier-like thing. Like, that's just a full-on 3D model. Of, like, a chandelier light thing. Now apologize to Allie for what you said about his father. Hmm. Green pea. Hey. Well, Mr. Morlock? I... I... I'm so terribly, profusely sorry. I... I take it all back. Every word. So... Good. I take it you'll be leaving this town, never to return. Le leave town, but I... Not so fast. Being a good merchant is all about timing. You need to know when to cut your losses. Or haven't you heard of sunk costs? What to do? I foresee great more misfortune in your future if you stay. Yeah. Come on, Omar. Better opportunities await us. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. <laughs> Good riddance. <laughs> now to find someone honest to run this town. Tressa. As much as I hate to say this, I owe you one. And a merchant always pays his debts. You have my word. <laughs> I'll hold you to it. What Morlock said about my old man? It's true. Some did call him a swindler. But it was a lie, spread by competitors who were jealous of his talent. And while it's true my father was deceived by his friend and forced to take on his debt, it doesn't diminish the things he taught me. Our words have the power to make our customers happy. So I'll follow in my father's footsteps, work hard, and go back home with enough money to pay our debts in full. Say, have you ever heard of the Merchant's Fair? It's the greatest auction in the realm held each year in Grandport. The wealthiest and most influential people the world over come to feast their eyes on treasures beyond your imagination. They say there's nothing you can't buy at the Merchant's Fair. That sounds incredible. I'm going to go there and make my dreams come true. If you can make it at the fair, you can make it anywhere. You really do have a way with words, Ali. Guess I'll be seeing you in Grandport. I was hoping you'd say that. 
<laughs> well, we still need to have our rematch. And what better place to settle the score than the merchant's fair? <laughs> I'll bring my best treasure. If you think you stand a chance, I suggest you do the same. I'll find the greatest treasure there is. You'll see. Good. Once you have it, come find me at the fair. I'll be the one drawing the largest crowd. They won't stick around for long after I get there. <laughs> Sounding less green already, Green Pea. See you at the fair. Sharing a connection with someone new, for however brief a time, is unforgettable. After we met, all I wanted to do was forget Ollie. He sure knows how to make a lasting impression. Now, I think I've found a good rival in him. Funny how things turn out, no? And now I know my final destination. Grand Port and the Merchant's Fair. For now, I'll follow in the footsteps of the Nameless Traveler and make for Victor's Hollow. There I'll find myself a treasure beyond my wildest dreams. Neato. So that was that one there. And then there's a bunch of stuff about swords and stuff that I'm not even going to understand at all. And yeah, actual voice acting. Where was this when you were streaming earlier? I didn't know that you streamed. I, whenever, like, it's difficult to mention to people like, hey, by the way, oh, I stream. That was a good way to drop it. That was a good casual way to drop that. Well played, good sir. <laughs> You know, people say that the sprites make the voice acting feel weird, but you disagree. Also, you could just clone Excalibur and save the queen, but A, you don't really want to. But yeah, I do agree, though. I really like the voice acting of this game as well, but seriously, voice acting? Yeah, with the art style of this game, it looks like something that wouldn't have that, but... It does, and I think it's really good. Time to rest up. While streaming this, how what? Oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought you meant like you were doing a stream yourself earlier and you were playing a game that didn't have voice acting. Uh, <laughs> okay, I was wrong. Whoa. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing. Not a clue. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I may be back in a little bit, but I think I may call it for now. Or right at this moment. Go figure some things out, and we'll... Actually, let's go switch out the party first. So, next will be Elfin, and then Primrose. So you don't stream, you can't stream. Okay, I misunderstood then, sorry. My Mistake. Um... Let's change the party here. So next is gonna be Alfin. So if you're gonna leave then exclamation point see ya. Maybe I should grind up Primrose a little bit off stream. Just so she's like at least a teeny bit viable. But yeah, Alfin's gonna be the next one. Now we've got So yeah, golden axe, shadow bow. All this stuff. All these good things. Yeah. 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 Where's the save point? Where is one? But yeah, might be back later though. May well be. Shall have to see. Yeah. Julio. But yeah. 
So thanks all for stopping by and hanging out. I appreciate it. And yeah, so until next time then, so see ya.